Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're going to talk about the potential buyout of Turtle Beach because it is looking very likely, especially after Friday, that Turtle Beach will get bought out probably this year. Now, if you want to see a video on Planet 13 and their earnings, because I said I would do that, it is on Patreon, so if you are a Patreon member, go check that video out. If you do want to see that video on Patreon, you can join by the link in the description. Join through there and you'll be able to see exclusive content on there like the Planet 13 earnings video, as well as other content. Um, I think there's three exclusive videos up there this week, um, as well as a Discord with over 600 members on there and you get to see my buy and sell alerts in real time as well. I did buy a stock on uh, Friday actually, um, so you guys on Patreon will know which one that is. But anyway, getting on today's video talking about Turtle Beach. The stock was up 3% on the news of potential buyout. It's been very, it's been very publicised um, about that Turtle Beach could potentially looking for a sale. Originally what happened is one of Turtle Beach's shareholders, if we actually go on to ownership of Turtle Beach, which is the actual shareholder that's been buying a lot quite recently, which is interesting, they actually own a 3% stake um, and basically what happened a few weeks ago and it kind of started to get quite public is that one of Turtle Beach's shareholders, Don Rail, came in and wanted to buy the company. The first offer was $34 a share and then they upped it to $36 a share. Now at the time this has been reject rejected and um, it was a 42% premium to yesterday's close and then Don Rail came out to say it was surprised about the rejection and then it kind of got a bit public there which I won't go into too much but basically Don Rail were like what's Turtle Beach doing and then Turtle Beach were like oh we want to kind of sell the company but we want to do some checks on you, you won't do them and it just kind of got a bit more public from that. But what's quite interesting is that Don Rail, who don't really have a history of trying to buy companies, they aren't really a well-known kind of investment firm, um, there is kind of like, you know, you never kind of done a big acquisition like this. So where's the money kind of coming from? And it is kind of weird that one of their own shareholders is kind of buying shares and then kind of coming out publicly saying, oh, what are you kind of doing? And that's also led Turtle Beach to come out publicly and go, we are, we would probably sell our company if the offer was right. And I think there's actually something a little bit, originally I was kind of like, it, it is a bit of a weird situation that it's kind of coming so public. But looking back on it now, maybe this was kind of um, an actual partnership here with Don Rail and Turtle Beach. Like, you know, can we kind of make it public knowledge that, you know, you want to sell the company? Is this a way to kind of get the publicity, to get people interested and you sell the company? We're a shareholder. We make good money on it. Potentially, you know, maybe that's kind of a, a thing that is kind of going on, especially when you consider in Turtle Beach at the moment in the ownership, you know, Don Rail have been buying up shares quite heavy as well. Um, so yeah, it is, it is a bit of a, a weird situation that's kind of gone on here. Now it's kind of like, like, was it just all said to kind of get it public knowledge that they were looking for a sale? So it is interesting, just on the offer itself that was made by Don Rail, even if it wasn't a legit offer. I think going on the recent kind of offer, which was $36, even though they kind of went, oh, it's a, a massive premium, 42% premium, why aren't you selling it? I still think it's not a great offer because you consider, 52 Kai's were for $38 only two, three months ago. So to sell it below 52 Kai's that were two or three months ago isn't a big enough premium for me. And it is still, in my opinion, massively undervalued at 11p ratio. So yeah, I think the offer is not good enough for Turtle Beach. Uh, for me personally, I would be more happy for Turtle Beach to sell 40, 40 plus dollars. That would be a plus 50% premium. I'd be happy with that. And plus for me, um, my average is currently $20. So if it was to be sold for $40, it's just a little bit of a personal thing for me that I get to add it to the 100% member club of another stock that I've sold for 100% uh, gain, which would be pretty good. So um, yeah, that's kind of one, one another little reason why I'd be more happy with uh, $40 plus. But I do think $40 plus a 50% premium would be more of a fair offer. If they could get somewhere between a 75 to 100% premium, which I don't think they would do, but if they could, that would be absolutely amazing by management. But that's personally where I would be more happy. So at the moment, I understand why Turtle Beach are kind of rejecting a lot of these offers. I do think they need to be a little bit higher considering the growth you get, the balance sheet you get with this one, and it is already massively undervalued uh, considering. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with their offer anyway. But what kind of led uh, to come out on Friday is Total Beach gains after report on the company getting an interest in sales process. The company is getting interest from large players in the gaming industry. CFT reported earlier, the sale process is being run by B of A. It wasn't known which acquirers have expressed interest according to the report. 
Now, it was quite interesting that in this, it was uh, the words that was used was interest from large play players in the gaming industry, which, and it was used here, acquirers. So I kind of think in here, that there's actually a few companies looking at potentially buying it. Now, what would be interesting is if Donrail are actually interested, then that could be another party. But like I say, I don't know if there's something kind of going on here where they're kind of working together to kind of get a sale in the best interest of the company and the shareholders um, and kind of get that knowledge public. But it's interesting now that it has got the attention of a few people that are considering buying the company. And it's interesting to know which ones they are. Obviously, there's no names named in this uh, actual article. But obviously, the, the instant ones you think of is Razor, but I can't see it being Razor because I, I, I think they just like having their own brand. The other one would be Logitech, which would be interesting. Kind of makes sense with Logitech. And the other one would obviously be Corsair, which obviously I own as a shareholder. That would be the other brand you would probably consider. My automatic thing would be Logitech, but Corsair, you, you, you know, they do have a history of acquiring companies, so you never kind of know. Anyway, um, it would be interesting to see what kind of develops in the next few days. But yeah, to see that it sounds like there's probably more than one company interested and that Total Beach are potentially looking for a sale would be interesting. And I think if the kind of offer that's being thrown down at the moment is uh, $36 and they'll be thinking, okay, we need to go above $36. I think if they go for, I, I don't think they're too far away. I think between $40 to $45 is where we'll see a deal. And I think that will happen. Um, I don't think they'll be a million miles away. So more than likely, I probably see with the amount of companies that look like are interested in Turtle Beach, I see probably one of them buying and I probably expect um, obviously this is a lot of guesswork so I won't take it as concrete but I probably see that a deal is done within the next few months and I probably see Turtle Beach is bought out um, in the next coming few months. Um, as a shareholder, like I said, a little bit disappointing because I, I do think it's un undervalued and I do think that potentially in the long term Turtle Beach would have been more than a $40 stock. However, for me, I've got to say it won't actually be the, the worst decision ever because for me, I do own two plays here. I own Turtle Beach, I own Corsair. I don't want to own too many companies in this space. Turtle Beach is a lot smaller position than Corsair. I always think Corsair has the more products and will be the bigger company, I guess. So I don't mind that I'll still have my Corsair shares and it kind of then gets me back into only one company in this sort of industry. And I'm not going to lie to be honest with you, with Turtle Beach, I always did consider selling Turtle Beach in um, Q1, Q2 of 2022 because I thought that the headset sales would slow down with the you know PlayStation launches and the, them sales kind of slowing down and people not upgrading their headsets as much. I mean, the, the Rocap purchase they made, um, was it a year ago, two years ago? I think that will still mean they'll have very good revenue growth and profit growth going forward. Um, and I think it will still be very successful down the line i just feel like the numbers will slow down a little bit so personally for me um i would actually be very happy that total beach would be bought out and i would be like i said be very happy with 40 to 45 dollars um, and then i would take that money probably um and probably sell out if the merger was announced um depending on who it is if it was corsair and it was a all stock purchase then i'd probably just let it transfer to stock because i already own a position if it was probably anyone else and they paid with stock, like a Logitech, for example, um, same again, I'd probably just cash out. So yeah, that's where I'm at with Turtle Beach. I think that's what will happen probably in the next coming um, few months is that I do expect Turtle Beach to be bought out and um, yeah, it's one to keep an eye on and we'll see what happens here. Um, it would be very interesting if Turtle Beach is bought out as well because I think that would be the fourth buyout this year of stocks that I own, which is crazy. Um, I think obviously if Turtle Beach was bought out, then that would mean obviously we had Turtle Beach that bought out. I think GWPH was bought out really at the start of the year, which was February time, um, which was a 100% return. Um, and then obviously we had Glue, which would be like a, a 30 or 40%, I believe it was at the time. And then obviously I had Genog as well, uh, which was only a few months ago. And uh, Genog was bought out and that was a 50% gain on that one. So yeah, if we had a fourth buyout this year, it's a crazy year for buyouts. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, if there is a buyout of 40 to $45, I'll, I'll actually be very happy as a shareholder. So that's the video for today, talk about Turtle Beach. Hopefully it was useful. If you could hit the like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. Remember, if you're on Patreon, go check that Planet 13 video out, and I will see you on the next video.